But we all have to be able to answer the question, is it possible for people to lead good, compassionate, responsible, fulfilling lives, all 9 billion of us by 2050? Is that actually an available reality for humankind? Because if you answer that question is no, then obviously you're going to take a slightly different path from those for whom the answer to that question is yes. And when I try and answer that question myself, so could 9 billion people lead good, dignified, responsible, equitable lives by 2050? I am persuaded that that is A, possible, and B, technology plays a central, preconditional part in making that a deliverable. So for me, just to jump to the end of the story, was where we have to have 100% renewable energy within the shortest possible period of time available to us. We cannot go on drawing down on our fossil fuels, it won't work. Nuclear power is a kind of mad and sad irrelevance. So by and large, we have to get to a 100% solar world in the shortest possible period of time. Is that possible technologically? Does it work? Can we power our industrial way of life off a combination of different solar-based technologies? And I am absolutely 100% persuaded we can. And actually, that most of the technologies we need to do that are already with us today. And if you can't draw down on the technological virtuosity available to us today, you're going to, come, you're going to default back to maybe our lives are too affluent, we're all going to have to cut things out, we're going to have to do sacrifice, we're going to have to perhaps have dramatic reductions in population by virtue of all sorts of imposed draconian population control systems, all kinds of stuff that you don't want to get into, really. So you can't do this without technology, but you also can't do it without balancing the technology with a change in how people see their own lives and meaning in their own lives. Because if we just use the technology to free up more consumption space, which I think is what you were getting at, so we get really brilliant about 100% renewable living and then we just go out there and do all the crazy things that we're doing at the moment, including trashing everything else about the natural world, that's not a smart thing to do. So we can't just do it through technology, but we can't do it without technology. And that's the, the balancing act that is quite difficult to pull off. We have to be enthusiastic about the technology, but put it in the right kind of context, in a deeper, more social values-driven context, so technology serves that revolution rather than us simply being driven in a deterministic way by what is technologically possible.